Hey, thank you, Rachel. Yeah, those are some pretty dramatic temperature changes coming. And you heard uh, Rachel just say it's going to be very short lived. So here's a closer look at why with meteorologist Ryan Breton. It has been a very warm couple of days around here, and the reason for that is a strong southerly wind, which you probably felt during the day today. That has been blowing out ahead of a cold front, which during the day was out over New York State, but tonight will be quickly passing through Connecticut. Take, for example, at 8 o'clock, most of the state's still up into the 50s with that gusty southerly wind, but in western Connecticut, parts of eastern New York, the temperatures will be dropping dramatically, and that change will be crossing through the state through the evening hours by 10 o'clock that front moving through eastern Connecticut and there may even be a flip to a couple of wet snowflakes on the back side of this front that's how quickly the temperatures will be dropping tonight the wind will be shifting direction earlier today coming in out of the south uh, tonight that wind will be blowing in from the west and northwest that will be dropping our temperatures but we're also optimistic that there should be enough time before the temperature falls below freezing for most surfaces to dry out. So we're not expecting a widespread flash freeze as Rachel has been mentioning, but any puddles that are left over by tomorrow morning with temperatures in the 20s will be frozen right over. So we are going to get a pretty big drop in temperature, but it's very short lived. We're going to be right on the edge of the Arctic air tomorrow, but as quickly as it comes down, it retreats and goes back north and we are back to mild weather beginning on Friday and it looks like much of next week will be mild as well with a big ridge of high pressure over the eastern U.S. and the cold locked up to our north. Rachel's back with much more coming up in a few minutes. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.